what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A single mother from Kansas City found herself the unexpected winner of a lottery, but she gave it all away after her 12-year-old daughter recommended gifting it to a police officer who was shot in the line of duty. Backstory. Shatara Sims, single mother, down on her luck, raising a 12-year-old daughter all by herself. She's walking, she's walking, she's walking, she's walking, and she finds a dollar on the ground. She takes a chance on the lottery, buys a ticket, and hits. She wins all of $100. Now, I know some of you think, oh, $100, man, that ain't nothing. I don't know, fam. You got to rethink that. This is a person, single mother again, down on her luck. She ain't got no money. She found a dollar on the ground. She took a chance on the lottery. She didn't win a hundred million or even a hundred thousand. She won a hundred dollars. She needed that money. And she gave all she had to spare to a police officer who was injured in the line of duty. Now, some of you may say, now, why in the hell would she do that? These police officers out here killing us and disrespecting us and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. They don't deserve it. And who knows? The officer she gave that money to has probably violated a black person before. Now, I know you're thinking, why in the hell would she do that? Why would a black woman in America give the police anything but pain? after the way they've treated black folks historically. Not so fast. You see, Shatara had another daughter. That daughter was murdered and the police helped her find the killer. They found the killer and brought him to justice. For that, Shatara is eternally thankful. Now, here's what she said. She said that we can't uh, individualize people. She said that's the problem when asked you know, what, you know, the reason why she did that and what she think of police officers. She said we can't individualize people. That's the problem. She said that if an individual, if a guy does something bad, that's on him. If a police officer does something bad, that's on him. Shatara says, we have to individualize people. You can't lump everyone into one group. Ironically, that's what police officers all over America has been doing to black people since its inception. Okay, but enough of that. Insert Sergeant Jake Bikina, this guy took the call. He saw what was happening. He was moved, so he started a GoFundMe for Shatara. That GoFundMe has raised over $90,000. That is a lot of money a huge return on your investment. They call that an ROI. Return on investment. 100 bucks, and now she's over 90,000. She will get over, she will get to 100,000 easy. That's a lot of money. Okay. Kind of makes you question that phrase, no good deed goes unpunished, huh? Just a little bit, just a little teeny weeny. I would like to see the injured officer's record. Be nice to see what those complaints look like. Who knows, man? You know, maybe I'm being too cynical here. You know, maybe he's one of the good ones. 
What do you think, man? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the talking about?